Assalamu alaikum, good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Talking Points. Uh, let me remind our viewers that this is today we have completed 10 years of Talking Points, continuous uh, episodes after episodes, every week after every week, and then until recently we changed it to what is called Pak Kik in Bangla fortnightly. Today is the first in the 11th year of Talking Point, 14th of August. Our guest today is a very well-known uh, Baul artist, singer, poet. She has a lot of accomplishments which we will explore as we go along, but uh, let me welcome her. Papia, thank you very much for making time for us. Thank I you. Know thank you. That uh, you have gone to troubles to cancel your program, flights only to be available to us. Thank you very much. It makes me very happy and also very proud that I could attract some a person like that. <laughs> no, it's all your <laughs> charisma and I uh, think your uh, own personality is uh, uh, no less. Uh, it's, it's just NTV and talking points. See. Yeah. Uh, Papia has uh, also, she also does a lot of paintings, uh, probably thousands of paintings, 10 poetry books and directed and starred in many feature films and documentaries. She's a lead singer of group Papia Das uh, and she travels between Kolkata, London and Prague. We will explore why Prague. London is a cultural capital. Calcutta is the cultural capital, birthplace of her, birthplace of mine incidentally, but uh, why Prague? <laughs> uh, what have we been up to recently now in, in that, that, that you are in, in Europe? Uh, right now, um, I've been um, just, uh, I was acting in a film, English film, mm -hmm. satirical film mm -hmm. uh, called uh, Transcendent Nun. Mm -hmm. Then um, uh, then I'm here uh, because I also edit a magazine um, mm -hmm. called The London Miscellany, which is uh, mm -hmm. first found in 1825. So it's, all, right. it's around mm -hmm. 200 years old English heritage magazine. Mm -hmm. So I have been um, launching that here recently. Then. Uh, uh, also on the 2nd of September um, a, a concert is coming up Next uh, yeah it is uh, with Sama Arts Network and the mm -hmm. three C's and that will be in the Brady Center right. so oh, so with a lot of works happening <laughs> uh, you, you have uh, done a lot of activities you have attended so many schools so many universities and uh, as I was reading about it, 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 it boggles my mind that uh, uh, you, it seems that you are interested in Baal, music, see, but you are also interested in, you have studied politics, political science, see. Yes. You have, you have studied drama, you have studied <laughs> <laughs> real music. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and you have been trained by masters in Indian vocal for from Karnataka, you have a diploma in Indian classical music, and you are a student of a painter, very well known painter, legendary person, Prakash Karmaka. Yeah. Uh, all this within 24 hours. <laughs> this is the only problem. I wish I would have more time uh, and I always wanted to, uh, instead of 24 hours if it would be more but one hours and, and a minute. <laughs> yes but one good thing is because painting takes a lot of uh, time mm -hmm. everything takes a lot of time and so I have to opt myself out of the so-called family life mm -hmm. um, first uh, to talk um, you know and uh, walk on the path of the bows mm -hmm. we had um, uh, previously like Lalan Chaiji as you know uh, it was uh, kind of not promoted this uh, the life of a uh, sangsari which is a family mm -hmm, person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but nowadays sad, sadly or happily i don't know uh, a lot of baos including my guruji purnadas uh, baos samrat and uh, so they uh, do they they do have family but the sadhana has been done the, the real practice as my Guruji told me, that he had done it before his marriage. So which also means that the Baal, in the Baal tradition, it mm -hmm. is always good, good to be, I believe, 
in an Accra, uh, you know, to be in the Accra, then think about the world family mm -hmm. instead of your own family. That does make people, you know, uh, f uh, kind of um, limited. I be I believe. So I opted out that, and um, you know, um, uh, so that is something which I wanted to. Uh, I couldn't do. There was no time, <laughs> but actually, that was a good reason. I think that right. that uh, the that I'm kind of a, what you say the madman. <laughs> Uh, kind of a person. All right, who is all right. Yeah. we need to go to a break and when we come back we'll yeah. definitely talk about the Baul tradition and how it has mm. evolved through the ages. Uh, yes, uh, Papia, we, we started talking about uh, what is Baul tradition. As a matter of fact, what is Baul? I think the etymology is uh, uh, the meaning of the word goes back to something like somebody who is crazy, somebody who is uh, yeah. <laughs> madcap, somebody is... But there is a Hindi word called Baula and that means uh, yeah. a bit off the tracks. Yeah, so. that came quite later, but before was yes. Batul, which means as crazy yeah, as the yes, wind. Yes. As uh, it's, 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 it was also uh, termed in san Sanskrit and it says as crazy as the wind. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, and if you see the tradition of the Baals, it is uh, that we do have crazy she did we, we are um, against the flow which means against the so so, so called norms, society yes, yes. social norms conditions of society mm -hmm. we um, live in a clan mm -hmm. we means uh, bow so not supposed to be actually coming from in a father to son lineage no. but it is um, uh, usually guru to shisha lineage which mm -hmm. means a master to the um, mm -hmm. disciples lineage mm -hmm. so and uh, that's how the clan started so the guru passed on their his mm. lineage to the so uh, his if, or her lineage to the son. If somebody wants to become a Baal singer mm. or, or join the set, mm. uh, he has to. Start you have to somewhere. take the guru because uh, it is it is quite a personal um, um, uh, preachings, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, we call it sadhana. Mm -hmm. My guruji, like Purnadas Baal uh, or Shamrat, and also Sadhan Bairagi is my shiksha guru, mm -hmm. and both of them, uh, you know, all, uh, always tell that 90 percent is the practice, the deho mm -hmm. practice, which is the philosophy of the body, mm -hmm. um, uh, which are more like the tantric sects. Mm -hmm. The tantric um, uh, has a lot of uh, different uh, part of tantrism, Shakta Tantra, Vaishnav Tantra, mm -hmm. Shaiva Tantra, mm -hmm. um, then Radha Tantra is something which people don't know much, mm -hmm. uh, and then v Buddhist Tantra. So mm -hmm. there are different um, uh, tantrics mm -hmm. who has practiced, but more or less their body worship, mm -hmm. um, uh, because I have been uh, floating <laughs> uh, since several years, more than 20-25 years, I've been quite interested from the mm -hmm. childhood about mm -hmm. such practitioners. So uh, they were also Baos. So Baos follow this kind of tantric in a practice mm -hmm. uh, body uh, worships mm -hmm. and body practices and 10 percent is the it used to be the oral tradition 10 mm percent -hmm. is the songs and the dances mm -hmm. which we perform um, uh, so the 10 percent is this important uh, part which we mm -hmm. perform mm -hmm. to actually um, you know like um, preach the um, uh, the, the wor worships which is inside worship it is not worship like the, like you know other kind of is worshiping ourselves mm -hmm. so cleans mm -hmm. the body and we we say that the god uh, god is um, not outside but inside mm -hmm. and to reach the divinity is you have to cleanse your body with all the six sins you know kram mm -hmm. kam klod rop moh matcha master joys you know maya mm -hmm. so these uh, six sins when you cleanse then your mm -hmm. body becomes clean uh, cleansed so that you can um, mm -hmm. reach your own God mm -hmm. which is you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you reach yourself but in a different form like you mm -hmm. reach the God which is within you so it is a very interesting uh, you know philosophy and a practice which but you're not talking about a higher God no no we uh, bows I mean whatever learn from the gurus gurus who are really legend legendary figures because mm -hmm. my guruji Beatles you know uh, members of the mm -hmm. Beatles um, then um, uh, all all yeah. very very important yes, yes, personalities yes. as you know so they went to Punadas Baal to learn mm -hmm. you know certain things you know uh, Ginsburg was mm -hmm. Punadas Baal's father which is my guruji's father so th so there is something a, a big treasure huge treasure inside mm -hmm. which uh, you can only explore one 
once you get into the diksha form like you, it doesn't come that somebody comes to me and asks me about practices because there are a lot of bodily things you know it's about body fluids about menstruation blood it's about certain things which are not talked outside which are forbidden mm -hmm. but I found the Bao's uh, tradition is so modern mm -hmm. in the ancient times right. so my uh, and it always attracted me to that tradition because it is uh, I think the absolute modern uh, uh, you know uh, practice right I have a question here yeah you don't identi identify yourself with any of the gods with a small g no yeah. any faith caste temples mosques or sacred places so what is your belief my belief is me <laughs> as they say and my belief is that you have to uh, you know love uh, love is the belief for me mm -hmm. I think when I meet somebody whoever it is I must uh, you know it is either love or not love mm -hmm. so if, if I cannot connect through the soul to the other soul mm -hmm. then uh, we are becoming robots mm -hmm. so my entire painting is about love and uh, but there is another layer to my paintings which is also about Deho Tattu which is mm -hmm. the philosophy of the body so a lot of my paintings um, you see a lot of body in that and people sometimes uh, are this, asking me this, why body this, this love yeah. is not the love for a person and his body but it is the soul isn't it yeah it is a soul and but it the soul is not without the body mm -hmm. so when we have to um, when, when we say bows uh, you know uh, are practicing body body uh, practices like through a lot of yoga portions then mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. Kundalini Jagaran and a uh, lot of you know it's, mm -hmm. it's quite scientific because I was um, um, thank God that I got certain education I mm -hmm. went through mm -hmm. our throughout it and, and I felt it so uh, so I don't know about others yeah, but so you I could see that it's not just meaningless uh, no it is not a, yeah it I'm sci some scientists can say this doesn't happen you know you cannot have so much of uh, you know all these practices are orally done uh, Lalan Sai or uh, Navani Khapa mm -hmm. uh, or you know uh, Panjusha they didn't go to school or colleges mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. they think but um, uh, Shanji definitely didn't but uh, but um, Kuber Goshai you know the, the parallel in the West Bengal cult we, we saw Kuber Goshai Jadu Bindu so mm -hmm. a lot of um, uh, big cult figures who didn't go to schools and colleges but they knew what they are talking about and it is about humanity love is uh, always was the no religion mm -hmm. it was a, a confrontation to the society so-called hypocrisies and because we believe that if you are hypocrites without love in your soul mm -hmm. you cannot achieve what you want to achieve mm -hmm. in the life and achievement is actually to become divine in a right. to 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 uh, to come together with yourself and touch your own divinity within yourself. A bowel singer, member of the order of religious singers of Bengal, unconventional behavior and freedom of spontaneity. Uh, you have uh, like Hindus and Muslims and people from other religion. They are they are all both. See, you have people uh, who are bowel singers in in Bangladesh. In, in Odisha, in Meghalaya, uh, in uh, other Assam, areas. Assam, Assam yes. Gorbhanga, yes. in other areas. See. Mm. And as, as I said before, and we all believe that uh, music has no boundary, no limits. See. Uh, so it transcends all the boundaries. See. So what, what is the real message? See, if, if when you uh, sing something, what is this? the message in that particular song well um, to uh, the world somebody who does not understand yeah but different um, uh, songs have different uh, meanings uh, mm. I don't know when when anybody is doing any art form including music whether they think to uh, actually talk about a message or not whether that was the purpose or not mm -hmm. I don't know mm -hmm. but automatically in the Baal songs and the Sufi songs and you know the Kavir Bhajans we see that it is talking about this um, uh, the, the body the mind and the soul all coming together because uh, you cannot uh, separate the mind and the soul from the body so it all comes together mm -hmm. to uh, 
to derive to a point mm -hmm. where the message is already a message of becoming a good human being full of love spreading love sharing and caring and all the good things of the world um, uh, but uh, all different uh, songs have different forms and different um, contexts also mm -hmm. uh, some songs of Shaiji also and uh, you know many other uh, uh, Goshai Uttar Chad for example so a lot of people are talking about Deho Tattva which is a body philosophy but there are Manush Tattva mm -hmm. which is not at all touching those inner practices mm -hmm. so uh, and some of the Kabir Bhajans you will see the inner practices some of the Sufi songs are talking about something else and it has been influenced definitely by um, by by you know the the Muslim cult they call themselves Fakir for example mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they are doing the same thing they are talking and practicing the same um, Deho Tattva um, so there are people who are from the Muslim regions where from Vaishnava regions the Baus are also called Vaishnava Tantra for them but as per my uh, education is concerned and uh, my understanding is concerned uh, they may be born in a Hindu family and wearing what I am wearing today mm -hmm. uh, I mean I, I always but mix this is not a uh, it does not represent a religion. It represents no. Power. It represents a social because you know I am a student of uh, sociology and socio politics and economy, mm -hmm. and so I see it from a perspective also from the uh, you know outsider perspectives. Let's mm -hmm. say from the periphery. And when I see things, when I understand that it is actually the more like a practice how you are <coughs> born in that um, right. village, mm -hmm. which is practicing kirtan, for example, mm -hmm. and uh, you know the baul, the shabda. So we see a reference. Is it's in in the, we find a reference. It's called pre-Vedic music that we found um, a, a scent uh, with a aktara in the hand and uh, roaming from one place to the other like a madcap and also a practitioner. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are several other references which we see mm -hmm. that it comes back to the time of uh, Ch after Chaitanya, the Kirtanya uh, Kirtanya cult goes to a Baul cult again, mm -hmm. and so so they have this Kirtan a lot of lot of Baul songs. Uh, we will. See will have a kirtania effect in it so um, it's because it, it it is derived from the Gorunitai you know sect again so uh, so it depends what kind of song who is composing the song like for me uh, obviously Baul uh, I, I was attracted to the Deho Tattva part of Baul more yeah. and uh, so my songs I am also composing Baul songs and it has got something to do with Deho Tattva in my songs Right. Uh, in the whole scheme of things, see, you have this uh, musical instrument. Uh, uh, I have one at home. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> which I bought in in Dhaka. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, when when did this appear in the history of the bowl singing and bowl traditions? This started from the beginning, or was yeah, it? Yeah, this is the only. No, this is I think the only. Uh, most you know kind of ancient traditional instruments because mm. it has one yeah. string as yeah, you, you see you know ektara this is one string and it's uh, and uh, basic, very basic can you play on it? so it's very basic it's like you see it's, it has got uh, tal sur and loy mm -hmm. three things coming together mm -hmm. some bows who are um, following um, a hinduism they are they are sanatan dharma they are calling it brahma vishnu maheshwar in mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. in in one instrument mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, so this is, uh, I think, the one of the most ancient instruments in the world. <laughs> mm. Is it available uh, generally, or no? <laughs> I can't. Uh, you have to uh, go in to shops. Yeah, you have to go. I mean, I get it from Kushtia, from West Bengal, Shantiniketan, Bolpur, Jadev Kenduli. I mean, in Bengal we find it, <laughs> but it's very difficult to find here. I have never found one uh, from here, so it's difficult to. F uh, if it's broken somehow, it's so fragile because right. it is done with the vegetable, as you know, right. as a gourd. Right. Yeah. So when you have this uh, vegetable if, if it's broken somehow then you can't uh, replace it you it's very difficult it. very difficult <laughs> you can't eat it yeah no you can't <laughs> uh, Rabindranath has influenced a lot of uh, musical traditions music uh, uh, literary movements but I was reading somewhere doing a bit of my own little bit of research on Baul that uh, even Rabindranath was influenced by 
Oh, bound. hugely, yes. hugely. <laughs> I have not read many uh, uh, in many places that he was influenced by something, but I have read that he has influenced others. Oh, yeah, <laughs> hugely, because uh, Ravinder Tagore, uh, you know, I, uh, uh, he, he, may, he, why did he come to Shantaniketan? A very small, mm -hmm. he could have done it one in one of the metros or mm -hmm. out close by. But Shantaniketan, Bolpur is a part of Birbhum, mm -hmm. as you know, the so soil, <coughs> and uh, that red soil. And Joydeep Kinduli is a uh, village which mm -hmm. is t around, I think, 28 kilometers away from um, uh, that um, Bulpur. And that is the place of the Baus and mm -hmm. where Kavi Joydeep was also doing, you know, his Mahakabya there, Gita Govindam. So, Rabindranath had uh, all reasons, I think, w uh, to establish Kalabhaban and his entire, um, you know, uh, 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 entire life there. He spent his life there uh, because of the Baus. Mm -hmm. uh, second part is um, uh, not all the uh, all bows of course uh, the philosophy and the practice obviously so deep and so modern that it mm -hmm. and you know Ravindra Tagore was a very modern uh, p uh, person and uh, so he obviously got um, involved with the bows and influenced by the bows and uh, Nabani Khapa who is incidentally the father of uh, Punnadas Baul uh, so he was, Rabin Namani Khappa was being uh, somebody who never went to school. <laughs> so he was um, somehow the mentor, <laughs> as I say, friend, philosopher and guide of Tagore, of mm -hmm. Thakur, Rabin mm -hmm. Thakur. Uh, uh, because the practice doesn't ne need you to go to universities. It is the university is your own uh, body mm -hmm. and the five elements from the nature. Mm -hmm. So the nature and the body comes together. Uh, we say whatever is in the universe, it is, it is linked to the body. Mm -hmm and vice versa. So that is one of the reasons I think that um, Rabindranath Tagore had to know a lot to uh, then to spread it out and in his own way of course in a, in a very literate way so that the west and the east you know he's a great um, uh, bridge between the west and the east. Uh, are there in or in his uh, pursuit of uh, higher knowledge uh, does he like bowl grade one, bowl grade two? Yeah, we have actually um, Sthula, Prabartaka, then uh, you know um, Sadhak and Shidhak. So, mm -hmm. so these are four uh, levels in a way, uh, which is very. Uh, I mean, I also don't believe in this terminology because it is of no, no mm -hmm. use to the to the person who they don't have to know any terminology. Mm -hmm. It is it is bhav as you call it, the feelings, you know, mm -hmm. the senses, and uh, terminology is again making it academic. Yes. So there are two things. Bowels cannot be actually academic because yes. if you become academic, then you cannot be a bowel. <laughs> so, but 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 because bowels have started growing, uh, uh, you know, go, uh, expanding, exploring, mm -hmm. and they in today's world people are, you know, it's f free movement. Everybody is moving, which is a good thing. So they are um, kind of using also terminology. The so I think this is the layer, the first layer, level one is when somebody is just going with the flow. How you uh, just don't question. But you must have a guru. Yeah, the second part, uh, no, the second part comes when you have the question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the question to to you know to contemplate yourself with the questions, then you need a guru mm -hmm. to answer your question. Mm -hmm. Then you go to a guru, which is a sadhak mm -hmm. baul, and then the guru will um, teach you uh, very intimate things. Not just first you have to be 24 hours with the guru, which I try to do, and mm -hmm. uh, with other gurus, not just uh, the person who I mm -hmm. took the duksha. But I've been in this path. I hope that I could learn certain things from a very uh, anonymous gurus who are not celebrity gurus uh, so mm -hmm. actually so I was uh, traveling to the villages to the Akra to the ashrams and not just me anybody you know there are little ha hundreds of um, disciples mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, you had to be very basic there you mm -hmm. you have to you know uh, shrug everything out of your system how you're born and brought up and education mm -hmm. and everything you completely surrendered to the guru then only the guru will probably teach you probably is the word that you have to the guru has to connect to you they have to understand that you are actually a genuine person who really needs to know genuinely and needs to you know then the guru will tell you how, so how, can, how can the guru find out i mean what is the test Oh, the the guru. F obviously, that's why he's a he or she is a guru because the guru finds uh, finds out from 
you know, the guru would not take much days to even, I think, mm. few hours and yeah. they will understand. I mean, I was blessed that Sadhan Bhairagi came to me and told me, I was with him, with him for, in his Accra for many years. Mm. Whenever I go to India, every year I go to India. And for five months, I am in the ashrams and the Akras and roaming mm. from one to the other, you know. Mm -hmm. And the guru told me that, uh, you know, Papi, I would like you to give the, because you've already got Diksha Guru, so I will give you a Shiksha Mantra, mm -hmm. uh, because you are in this thing for a sec for a long time. And, uh, uh, and for you, you will be like my Vivekananda coming to Ramakrishna. Mm -hmm. So be, like Vivekananda didn't want to take a diksha and Ramakrishna mm -hmm. wanted him. So, uh, so I was blessed. I don't know why they told me. But um, I, I hope that I would be able to carry forward their, their you know, aspi aspirations about me. Uh, sure. It's difficult. So how do you uh, see yourself as? Are you a guru by now? I, I, uh, this is something which I don't want to answer because this is first of all very, uh, it's a practice. I right. uh, only, uh, I have some um, people who, who are, you know, who are your disciples? I would not call them because I feel shy to say even disciples because I don't think that I've become so, you mm. know, in today's world, it is so much yeah. difficult well, to, you are being humble. And nobody, you know, in today's world, it's so much difficult to, it is such a contrast that you, uh, need to breathe in first of all this first thing is your breathing exercises now the breath uh, breath is completely you know you're not breathing you're breathing acid mm -hmm. so you, you see there's no rain in london for mm -hmm. 20 22 days so um, the nature is not the same like it used to be with my gurus when they were small they could breathe in the fresh air there was no mm -hmm. motorbikes all the time in the villages if you go to the remote i go to the remotest village i try and then there is not motor bikes everywhere. Well, I think the time has come for us to take a break. <laughs> okay. And when we come back, we'll ride yeah. back again on the motorbike. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, we need to take a break and we'll come back very soon. Don't go away. With our guest today, Papia Ghoshal, uh, she is an exponent of uh, Baul Sangeet, Baul music, Baul uh, tradition. And we have learned a lot from her about the Baul culture uh, that they do not. Uh, adhere to any religious sect faith but they believe in the humanity they believe in uh, everything is good and the body is uh, the main factor in the entire universe right so Papia, you wanted to read out some of your poetry um yeah i mean uh, two i will read out a couple right. uh, which is um, based on the bowel uh, okay. philosophy i try to write okay. about it and if it's uh, it's, it's uh, heavy going then please do explain <laughs> okay because it is uh, initially written in bengali but right. uh, then it's been translated in right. english okay so it's called uh, daho korlam agun mm -hmm. you what, know. what does that mean for mm -hmm. our view daho korlam agun is i burned fire mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, because uh, whenever I was writing po poem, it was not, yeah, I, I burned fire. Mm -hmm. It's uh, two different things. So it's yes. like it has a deeper meaning. Yes. Yes. Like Baos always uh, talk in the Shanto language, which is the language of the twilight, which means it has the metaphoric mm -hmm. meaning. And uh, my Guruji says that uh, you have seven different meanings in mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. line. Right. So, and that's why you need the Guru to explain you line by line by line but i can't have so much time today is uh, limited what? so i will just um, say daho kolda magun which means i burnt fire i burnt fire i burnt one dead body on a pyre mm -hmm. burnt six demons hidden inside the flesh burnt the wood that burnt it mm -hmm. burnt the wooden death bed mm -hmm. burnt the buyer burnt the shame Burned the public blame, burnt all tress of fear. Mm -hmm. Burnt the beginning, burnt the end, burnt self and burnt the graceful hair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent, oh, wondrous fair. The sky touched each of nine holes. The air touched the breath, body touched soul, Soul touched love, soul touched the way, mm -hmm. the way touched the Guru, the Guru took the treasure and the treasure took the soul. Mm -hmm. Papia flew from herself beyond herself on high, mm -hmm. 
holding the Guru's prow. Here, here am I, vivid, simple I. Mm -hmm. Terrific sound, terrific fire, terrific burst, terrific life, dauntless, fearless, dauntless, detached, dauntless, detached, dauntless, detached. Uh, this is your own translation, is it? Um, yes. <laughs> and it has been published? Yes. Is that the book? Uh, this is the Bengali book called Behaya, mm -hmm. which means uh, actually shameless. shameless yes. But it is obviously we are saying shameless um, to the society, and the society can say me, I don't mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it is shameless. Shameless is called, yeah. Well, why but is it called shameless? Uh, because I am taking out certain uh, parts of the society, mm -hmm. uh, uh, pretentious uh, yes. society, which you, I, you, I feel you them are, to be. Uh, objecting and opening uh, or showing the, the mirror to the society about mm. their pretensions. Yeah, I mean, and then I don't mind, uh, you know, telling myself uh, feel um, shameless mm -hmm. because uh, I know who am I the most. So I am, mm -hmm. uh, so I want people to first take the book by thinking, uh, well, Papier is talking about shamelessness. Let's see how much shamelessness she has uh, gone through. Mm -hmm. But uh, but after the read, I think because I've got some um, people who likes my, you mm -hmm. know, in, in Bengal, they really like my uh, mm -hmm. Bengali mm -hmm. poems as well. How, so how would it sound in, in Bengali? You, you read it out in English. Daho kolla magun, daho kollam shob, daho kollam shobe lukano, tsoye shaitan, daho kollam kat, daho kollam kat, daho kollam shodza, daho kollam lodza, daho kollam kolunko, daho kollam atonko, daho kollam shuru, daho kollam shesh, Daho kollam honu, daho kollam kesh, aha, besh, besh, besh. Akash chulo noy kuturi, batash chulo shash. Deho chulo mon, mon chulo prem, prem chulo poth, poth chulo guru. Guru nilo mon, mon nilo dhan. Akashi urulo papia, nijeke chapia, dhore guru hiya. Pore roila mami, shati jami, shaho jami. Bhishan shabdo, bhishan agun, bhishan tej, bhishan jiban. Atun kohin, maya hin. Atun kohin, maya hin. Atun kohin, maya hin. One of the lines you said, Guru Nilo Mon. Uh, this is uh, metaphorical, isn't it? This is not yes, a, Mon, this but, but you have to surrender your heart body mm -hmm. and mind mm -hmm. to the guru mm -hmm. it's also the body that you have to surrender and there are a lot of practices of course it is it is not talking about sex what no. people think yes. it goes beyond sex mm -hmm. it is actually the restraint of sex mm -hmm. so my uh, second poem if i read then you will know the what is called the restraining of the sex uh, okay. uh, you, wanted to, you wanted to do uh, a song, isn't it? I think yeah. we have enough time for that. Can you go, go to yeah. the song? Uh, so the, the next one is... Uh, uh, okay, we can do that, uh, the Akhtara. Lahori te rosh mojilo, dotara te rong thorilo. This is the song as well. The drum is hooked on jism. Mm -hmm. The string is on blood's monthly rhythm. Blood jism mingles. Color juice tingles. Goddess Kamaksha's vivid flow feeds us with life from top to toe. That soul's a juggler out of tune who doesn't know this to be so. The prim and proper cast their public blame whilst joining hands behind the curtain all the same. Burnt fire, burnt one dead, on, uh, dead body on a pyre. Oh, this is the old one. Well, so the drum is hooked on the jism. So it's called Lahori uh, Terosh Monzilo. This has been translated by Christopher Arkell, one of the English poets. Uh, right. Can we have a bit of uh, yeah. real song? Uh, I must uh, ask everyone to pardon me because sometimes uh, uh, it's okay. it's, 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 you know this goes out of mechanical. tune sometimes. Uh, we will leave you with, uh -huh. us, uh, with Papia singing. Uh, uh, we can do the rhythm yes. and then, uh, I'll say goodbye to you and see you again mm -hmm. sometime next week. Thank you.
I will sing uh, Jitendra Dash Bao's one of the songs, which is not really a Deho Tattu song, it's a Manish Tattu song, which is a common song, so uh, it will be. Hare Rakhpo Chere Devo Nang Chere Dele Shuna Gaur Khepa Ami ritma zare rakh bo chere de bo na. Bhuban mohan gora gopi hijonar mon hara. Bhuban mohan gora gopi hijonar. Monohara Oi no hayo ne no yo no dia ar phirbo na no yo ne no yo no dia ar phirbo na 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 chhere debo na ami rhythm jhare rakhbo chhere debo na ami rhythm jhare rakhbo Devo na. <laughs>